This piece is called Le Collier en Boisson and was executed in 1975 as an etching and aquatint with colour wash by the wonderful Juan Miro. This piece is £16,950 and is 25 by 36 inches. Miro was one of the most astonishing of 20th century artists. André Breton, the leader of the Surrealists, called him the most surreal of us all, acknowledging his unique and consistently inventive imagination. Miro invented a series of signs and images which are central to his work. Here we can see a classic example of this, an imaginary world full of strange insect-like figures and forms which seem to float in space. This fantastic sign language, which was partly inspired by images from the artist's unconscious mind, soon became a hallmark of surrealist art. Over a period of 60 years, from the lyrical dream paintings of the 1920s onward, he produced work that served to inspire young writers, painters and the public alike, testifying to his sensitivity to the world around him. The 1970s were prolific for Miro, responding to political turbulence in France, Miro was deeply moved by the spirit of rebellion. Consequently, his paintings from this period are some of the most urgent and gestorial, executed on large-scale canvases. Meanwhile, Miro's work was being shown in major international retrospectives, and the Fundacio Juan Miro Barcelona was open to the public in 1975. Miro's interest in print work probably stemmed from his ongoing search for new resources that would enable him to follow his artistic quest and from the satisfaction he derived from experimenting with different materials. Printmaking has been a major medium of expression for him and it gave him space for liberation, expansion and discovery. In his own words, At the beginning I was a prisoner to its limitations, to its rules, its tools and recipes that were too dependent on tradition. I had to resist, overcome them and then a vast realm of possibilities lay ahead. I also managed to break loose from using conventional paper and started printing proofs on the strangest papers you could imagine. This particular piece is printed on Arsh Wove paper, which is a brand of air-dried paper made from 100% cotton. It has a warm white colour and is made in the village of Arsh in France. I think what I love most about Miro is his freewheeling artistic expression and how he continues to be a generating spark for evolving artists and art movements today. He said as he ventured into old age, it's the young people who interest me and not the old dodos. If I go on working, it's for the year 2000 and for the people of tomorrow.